Hey everyone, so today we'll be solving another cross site scripting lab on Ports Figure Academy. So let's get started. So this lab contains a DOM based cross site scripting vulnerability in the search functionality. And to solve this lab, perform a cross site scripting attack that calls the alert function. Okay. So I've already started this lab. So let's go to that tab. So the vulnerability is here. So as always, when you're trying to find cross site scripting vulnerability, the first thing that we do is less than greater than and in between put just put some text. So let us wait for a response and we got the response. Now, if you haven't watched the last video, please watch that video and come back to this video. It will really help. OK, fine. OK, let's continue. Now, let me just go to the source code of the page once. Now, if I scroll down, you can see that, you know, just like in the last video, there is some code that is being executed in the script tags. Almost everything is same, just like in the last video, except that here, instead of document.write, they're using document.innerHTML. So let me just open notepad and I'll explain you what is going on. So in the last video, whatever the value that we are giving to search parameter, right, in the URL, for example, say that it is I code. So what this do search query function was doing is, it was taking that, you know, that value I code and then it was performing document.write document dot write and whatever we type it is just doing a document dot write on it but now in this it is taking the value whatever you are giving to search functionality and then it is performing document dot and then it is actually getting an element on the page so get element and then it is performing inner html for the provided value that is i code so why am i telling you this i mean what is the difference between document dot write and document dot you know uh, get element dot inner html right so i'll tell you what is the difference now now if i go back here and just type script tags script alert the basic payload right script alert script enter it will not fire our payload i mean it will not pop up an alert box why is that okay let me just tell you so if i go back to the notepad so the payload that we gave is so for the search the payload that we gave is this one right copy paste it is just taking this value and just putting into the inner html of that particular element on the page and if i inspect the element if i inspect the element just give me a second alert alert one you can see that our payload is not executing so the reason is that you know a document dot get element dot inner html won't execute the script tags it will not you know uh, execute the script tags inside it so instead what we can do is instead of this we can use another payload you know like this image tags image src equal to x on error is equals to prompt one and close it so this should be fine so why is the reason that we changed because inner html it will not allow the script tags and svg payloads i mean it will not execute the script and the svg payloads sorry it's not avg svg and it will allow this image tag so let me just copy and paste it here and this should work and there you go we solved this lab so that's it for this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video